Welcome to Chemo Week 14 of 18. We are narrowing it down and we're hopeful that it's, you know. Doing Welcome something. to Angel in the Woods. Welcome to Angel in the Woods. That I've had for years. I, I mean, as long as I can remember, I've had that. He's like, that one's not so normal. So they did a biopsy on it. Okay. And um, we got a. What's the result? We know? Well, we don't know what the result is um, necessarily. He just, I got a phone call saying they need to come back. I need to come back and they need to remove more. Okay. So they said something, they said, what they said was it is a precancerous lesion. Lesion, right. And I just said, okay. So they want to remove it. They want to, they just want, yeah. they're, they're probably going to go in just a little bit more, make sure that everything is totally out. Oh. That's what they did with me, except in my case, mine was a post cancer cancerous lesion they tumor. Also, <laughs> yeah. They also removed one on the bottom of my foot. And oh. I will tell you that that sucker hurt for days. Really? Yes. I still have. Did they give you pain medicine? I still have no, pain medicine no that pain I got medicine. from my operation. I haven't used any of it. No, no pain Someone medicine. Like me. They can't give me. I mean, what, what hurt more, though, was um, they, because they put a, they, it was like they, they gave me a shot of something to numb the area. Right. And it, what, well, the more painful part afterwards was I still felt the, the, needle, the point? needle point where the needle went into the skin. So, right. I, you know, I looked, I, I knew I had this thing cut out of between my, it was between my toes, so oh, it's not gross. like I didn't really put pressure on it, right. but where the needle went, it, you know, it was, it was like they removed a piece here right. that doesn't ever touch the ground, but right. the needle went in down here, right. which is where it touched, and I was like, oh, that sucker hurt. Wow. For, oh, I couldn't wear, I couldn't wear closed toe shoes because, um, it's my feet, and they didn't want to get an infection. Right. So I had to wear sandals for a week. So, what are you doing? I'm trying to find. I'm missing my. I have. Uh, I got the tiniest little burn, but because of the poison, the chemotherapy chemo. is basically yeah. poison. Um, it doesn't heal right away. And I've been keeping polysporin on it, and I had some in my pocket. I have some. I got some at home. Well, I yeah. mean, I got some right there, but they're supposed to be right here, so I could just take it out and put it on while nobody's paying attention. But, you know, it didn't, you know. That didn't I'll, work so well. Well, it didn't, it didn't work so well. So I'm, you know, I'm not being, trying not to be too political, you know, because believe me, I could fill this 20 minutes. Like, I know. You know it'd be so easy. Let's see. Things <laughs> it's starting the, starting the summer pack up for school. So okay, what's that I, mean? That to, I mean, I, leaving? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because you're a teacher. you got to pack up at the school to go home. Yeah, at the end of the year. Um, most teachers will leave their things at the school um, because they have classrooms. Right. I don't have a classroom. I have an office. We don't have a closet in our office. And we could put them in another teacher's classroom, but that doesn't mean that that teacher is going to, you know, there's just lots of complications. Right, right, right. So I'm just going to take all my stuff home this year. Now, so, so now, now. You don't have a classroom? You have no, an office? No, I have an office. So, so what do you do? I mean, do you actually teach classes anymore? No, you just work with the teachers? I work only with the teachers. Wow, so you're like a muckety-muck. You're like one of those people. You're, you're, you're the next step up the line. Mm, you're not a teacher anymore. Not you're really. I'm a, teacher tra type of, I'm a type of teacher trainer. I'm a, like a mentor to the teachers. See, to the so math teachers, yeah. That's, uh, pardon me. For those you of you that weren't hiccups. with us last week, you get the hiccups. The side effects of this week's chemotherapy are hiccups. <laughs> okay, have you ever heard of such a thing? We have the, we're dealing with this deadly, horrible disease, cancer, and I got hiccups as a side God's effect. God's got humor and everything. You're not kidding, boy. Does he ever have a sense of humor? Wow, you know and. Uh, but, but I, oh, I forgot to bring my core. I was going to bring a core to pull the video off so we can show Gandalf and oh, Gandalf yeah, and the Dyson. Core. But it's on YouTube. I posted it to YouTube, so oh, maybe okay. you can link to it. And and where where, where is it on YouTube? I at don't at your particular? Do you have a site? Was yeah, it with us somehow I have a site somehow. Okay. So we'll find out and we'll yeah. post it. You know. And what is and what is this showing? Gandalf. And I was I was vacuuming, and I had with oh, my that's Dyson. Right. You pushed him around, and he didn't want to move. He just did not want to move at all. Are they and they're still using the uh, tree? Yes. The cat tree. Oh yes. They've they settled in. They that's, love that thing. That's cool, you know. I. Uh, they love the cat tree. They love their cat beds. The house is is finally calming down for the most part. Gato still has some issues. Well, I have to. But tell that you. cat's crazy. 
um, a better time is coming for all of us. And sometime in November, when, when the world is once again right on its axis and stuff like that, then you the have to be bet better. have a really darn good explanation to go from me talking about my non politically based cats right. to a November election. Oh, they, they, it's just, it better it's be just a really as good explanation. No, it doesn't Sh make sense. Sh my cats don't vote, they don't give a crap about politics. I know, but this but, is not a political show this week. But the world <laughs> will be better. <laughs> better. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, so anyway, what, what I was saying is, yes. um, so I started to bring stuff home, and I'm looking at it going, crap, I don't know what I'm going to do with all of this stuff. And then I, I realized, oh, I do have a bookshelf in my office, yeah. at home, at home office. And I looked on the bookshelf, and there's a bunch of books in there that are for display because the homeowner who used to teach English has wants to display his knowledge. Well, Nonsense. Who? I'm looking at this, that and I'm like, garage. this is stupid. Why have I kept these books here for two years, three years now? For what? Like, he's not using them. He's not going to use them anytime soon. So that's one of my projects um, in the upcoming out. weeks. I'm just going to pack them all up and put them in the garage. Them, that's it. That's what yeah. I, you know. And we're looking, I'm looking at a, a, a place, and I have to see. And I have to see the size of the rooms because I need to, you, see, you can see the size of this room. Well, you know, I, this this new place will have a garage, which means I, I can take all the stuff behind this, 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 mm -hmm. and put that out in the garage. But I still have to have a certain amount of room for our studio. Now, the, for the people at home, it'll just look like this. It won't look any different at all. But, uh, you know, I have to. So that's one of my little challenges. I have to see if that all works out. Because where I am now, they raise the rent every year, and I can't have that. That's, that's right. just, it that's goes pretty, nothing, you know, it's like. You should, my sister found a house. My sister and her husband found a house in, like, two weeks to rent. That's great. They got connected with a realtor. How much a month? I don't know. I didn't ask. Okay, because that's see that's critical, you know, for. But it doesn't hurt to go and talk to a realtor, and they can. I mean, because you don't have to pay them to go talk to them. Right. Well, you know, uh, I don't know if that's going to come up, but <clears throat> I'll go see this thing with uh, Victor and then go from there, because I know what it's. You know, it's. You know, rents are important. You know, and I want to try and stay on the ground floor. I'm on the ground floor now. I want to try and stay on the ground floor. That's very hard in New York because. Have you thought about going to the place right down here? What do you mean? Kagan Crossings. Oh no, I haven't. I hadn't. Uh, they do discounts. Because they, uh, I don't know if my dog. I have a dog, you know, and I got the impression from them that my dog was too big. Although I don't think it is, because the reading mm -hmm. that I'm getting is that they have a, a wide variety of sizes. But uh, no, I haven't thought. And there's another place, Del Largo or something like that, down mm -hmm. the way. So there's, I mean, I haven't there's been places. doing the homework on it that I should. Any of you th the out there that have gone through the apartment hunting and stuff like that, you know, and it's... It's not fun. Moving's not fun. No, moving's not fun. I hate and, moving. You know, and, and almost every place in New York is up at least one flight. Yeah. Very few are, are ground floor. You can just wheel right in, and, and, I, and I like, you know, I don't want to come home at the end of a work day. You have to walk upstairs. You have to walk upstairs. Really, Think of yeah, all I mean, the calories you burn, though, walking up those stairs. Yeah, I know. And, and, my, and I guess, my, I guess, on a, and I guess a lot of places in New York also have elevators. You don't have to really go upstairs. Mm -hmm. You know, Donald Trump. You know, he takes an elevator. So I, mean, I don't live in his building or anything like that. But I'm not looking in that kind. That's a, a different, you know, fine financial layer. Trump Towers. So I'm not looking for anything that exclusive. But uh, you know, so. And I just say that because, of course, Donald probably doesn't even move his own stuff. He probably has hires, right? I, mean, I guess once you reach a certain level financially, you never actually do those types of things again. <clears throat> I know that I cannot wait to move out of the house that I am in. Really? I also know that I hate moving. Oh, man, me too. Look at all this I get, junk I got. I get moving anxiety. Really? Like I, yeah, I start to panic. Although I think this time it will be easier because most of my stuff is still packed up. Oh, wow. Um, because it, I went from an apartment where I needed all of my things to right. a house where a lot of the stuff was provided, so I don't oh. have to pack up dishes. Or, oh, that's good. Or, um, I mean, I, I will have to pack up, like, some some cups that I had bought that are being used. And 
things like that in like some of my decorative things right. but in the grand scheme of things it shouldn't be so bad but the pain in the butt part is going to be digging through the garage to get the stuff that is packed up oh i have a so. uh, we did it we came from a house to an apartment so there was a lot of stuff that i had to move in waves you know we had to get storage for a while and oh, then ba 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 we got rid of a lot of stuff and all that so this move should be easier mm -hmm. okay but uh it's still not fun not, not when you have not, like no, desks and fun. stuff and yeah, you have and to take everything apart yeah this is a three part desk and what and you have to yeah you actually have to do that you have to you know i have to, there's certain places where it will disconnect just to get it out of the room yeah, you know so and uh and you just hate it's just yuck it's you know i'm just i'm not a moving person i would mm. have rather have stayed here but this uh, you know some th i think it's abusive personally to keep raising the rent yeah raising the rent every year raising the rent every year yeah the, you can't keep up with it these stupid people and they get well listen that's i'll tell you one thing when this clown is gone in november they're going to start drilling for oil they're going to start fracking for oil and those gasoline prices are going to go back under two dollars or go down as far as two dollars that's different when i can get five gallons of gasoline for ten bucks now you're in the real world. You know what that's going to do to the economy? The economy is going to go through the roof because people that haven't been able to go out to dinner will go out to dinner, and then that will start the cycle and it will spin. This guy could have fixed. That's the sad thing. You know something? Really? May I say something? It's not do actually positive. It's not actually positive. Always, Obama, let me put it this way: what? in this neighborhood area strip that we live right. in. There have been, in the last couple of years, about five or six new restaurants that have opened. Three of them have opened in the last three months. The Texas and the Eat at Joe's? And the Eat at Joe's, yeah. the Texas, and then they're opening up Logan's Roadhouse. Okay. okay? Um, but three years ago, that stuff wasn't there. Right. It was barren land. Right. So, and, and the parking lots are filled. Sure. But they're vacation people. Yeah, and... People save for vacations. You have a different influx of people the whole time. It's not the same people. We are <clears throat> population. It's different for us. Right. I don't okay. want to eat out every time. <clears throat> oh, no, I don't want to eat out any time. But what I'm trying to say is I don't even want to eat when, out when, week. when gas great. takes up as many calories are in like... When gas a is as plate, expensive as it is, vegetables, it prevents like you from buying potato? other things in, in the community. And when gas gets back where it's supposed to calories. be, you'll be able to spend that money on other things. 1,300 calories for steak, potato, and vegetables. That's like what I'm allowed to eat every day is 1,300 calories. I should eat one meal and be done with it. My I would friend, starve. My friend came down to see me, and he took us out to dinner at Longhorn Steakhouse. I like that place. It's got very good food. And I had uh, the Parmesan crusted chicken sand, chicken. Really? No, with I the sweet potato no. and their warrant. Oh. I had a porterhouse steak, 20 ounce porterhouse steak, a baked potato, salad, some bread. That's where the 201 comes from. I don't know why. But uh, I mean, it was great. And I was, still, I was still full this morning. I mean, I still felt, you know, I mean, I, I don't know what the relevance of that is, but, you know, it's just. So anyway. We are on the verge, if, if we can replace these criminals that we have there in Washington now, this country could explode because we have more oil. We, in other words, we, energy is very, very important. We live in, a, in an age where energy is important, and we have more energy than anybody else on Earth, but we're not using it. Okay, and as long as we have people like Harry Reid in the Senate, as long as the Democrats control the Senate, and there's something that they're trying to do, this is her terribly, terribly, ter they're going to have a lame duck session. In that they're going to show one second. This week. They're going to they're, they're going to have a lame duck session in Congress, and there are going to be a lot of people that have been voted out of office that got that 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 can't be nothing done to, and they may approve some treaties. The UN is getting completely. If it was up to me, I'd tell the UN, "Fine, get out of the country. We want nothing to do with you. You're being run by Syria and Iran and all these other little tin pot dictators. Take the building, whatever you got to do. Get out of New York. We don't want you here anymore. And we're not going to be a part of you anymore because they've been so corrupted. Okay, and we're and, and this guy Obama has been signing these treaties and sending them over. He wants to not only give away our oil off the coast." 
He wants to he he wants to sign a treaty where we have to give half of the money that we make from that to smaller nations. We have to give them our technology that we develop if they ask for it. This guy is a criminal. He is a criminal, and the people that are with him are criminals. This is like the mob finally got a hold of America. And they're burning down the restaurant after they've taken out everything they could take off on the insurance, and now they want the insurance as well. This is terrible, terrible. Now, if this all gets corrected in November, this country will explode. Because if the people will come in, they'll turn the country loose. I haven't loose. heard anything about politics in a while either. Not like I've been watching the news, but... Right, well... Um, it's like whoever was whatever they were doing just kind of faded away. Well, I feel yeah, like the like, news media was like, eh, Well, you know why? We're done. Because Obama has had the worst month he has had since he's been elected. Everything he has tried to do has gotten turned around on him. Every single bad thing he has tried to do has failed. And that's not news to the news media. They don't talk about it. They protect him. They keep him in this little cocoon. And if stories come up that are bad for him, they don't report him. And if stories are good, then they put him out there. And he is now being sued by 43. He just got hit with 43 different lawsuits by all of the religious organizations cause, because he's trying to. The First Amendment to the Constitution is about freedom of religion, freedom of speech. He's trying to abrogate that. And 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 all of these. I mean, it's just, it's a sad. It's you know. Oh, that's what I wanted to say. That's what I really started to say. I feel bad for him in some ways because he was given an opportunity. Think of all the good he could have done, as an almost black guy, he could have gone into so many areas, and done good, and he didn't. Everything he did was with the mirror here. Is this good for me? Okay. It's good for me. I could do it. Otherwise, I, I'm not going to talk to them people. I'm not. Because I'm God. I could see. I'm God. I know it's me. It's me and it's God. Okay? And that's how this guy has been. And it's, and it's sad because we've talked about this before. What he has is that he is the result of bad parenting. That's all he is. Otherwise, who knows what he could have accomplished, what he could have become. And now he's we just. We need to start putting a disclaimer that says all political opinions are mine. Are, are yours. Okay, well, well, and I accept that. But I'm just. But, but the fact of the matter still is that this is, this is true. And this is what history is going to say. History is going to look back on him as a, as, as a failure and a failed opportunity to do good things. And he led a lot of people that believed in him down the wrong road. And it's a sad thing. You know, it's just, it's sad in a way because he had such an opportunity, and he did it as an almost black guy, and it, he hurt. He's turned so many people off because of his, his socialism and his Marxism, because of his hatred of America. He doesn't like America. That's how he was raised. He was raised in a home that didn't like America. Okay, and that's why he's the way he is. And now what he's done is he's set back the progress of other blacks who really do love America because he's changed the he's changed the story so that if a man comes out and is pro America and is black he's they, they they attack him they call him an uncle tom they say he's a you know he's you know you know these guys are still living off the civil rights music I mean, we've talked about that these the, the people mm -hmm. that you know the sharptons and the jacksons i mean mm -hmm. it's not fashionable to be a happy black guy yeah i don't like those two you know what i mean and, and that's a sad thing because every all the blacks i know are happy people they work in a job they get along with everybody we don't see their color they don't see ours i don't see theirs that's what i said to ron one day they had this guy on I tv like ron. ron is a swell guy so and he's uh, so and he's, a, he's an entrepreneur I he mean, he's, he's first class all the way. <clears throat> and so I said to him, this black guy was on television. We were watching it at a break room. And a black guy comes on TV, and they're not talk he's an actor. And they're not talking to him about being an actor. They're talking to him about being a black actor. And I said to Ron, I said, is the time ever going to come when a black guy could just be a guy? I mean, is it ever going to come where we don't see the color? And if we see the color... It's irrelevant to the story. Why does it always have to be anchored in the story? That, that's, that's what we're fighting. And we have the, the media in this country, the, the major media, NBC, ABC, CBS, CNN, Time Life. These purveyors 
of the, the Democratic National Committee are corrupting America. Did you hear something about the Republican National Committee in Tampa Bay and guns? Oh, yes. The story is... What about that? <clears throat> the Republicans are going to have their convention this year in Tampa, uh -huh. Tampa, Florida. And the mayor wanted to have a, 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 a gun-free zone someplace. Now, I think it was it, like around the convention center itself. Yeah, well, itself. in the convention and center, it, that's a gun-free zone. Right. Once you go past the line, the outside, and it's an external line. Yeah. Now, the, the mayor wanted the whole city a gun-free zone. And uh, just the, the mayor, I mean the governor, Scott, down in Florida, said, no, you can have this one, that's gun-free. And I think part of the reason is because we have these nut moron cases, these these poor, misguided morons in the Occupy movement that yeah, The Occupy are, movement, it's very close to the Trayvon Martin area. I mean, not area, but it's it's within, well, still in within central yeah, Florida. Yeah, the, the, and the, uh, Tampa is, oh, that's the crazies up there. Well, all I know is that <clears throat> the Occupy movement is funded by George Soros' Tides Foundation. These are not instantaneous gatherings of protesters. They are being groomed to be violent because what these people, you can't, Obama has a horrible record. This is not, I didn't ask no, no, a question no, about I know, Obama. But, How but, but, guys, but the Occupy I, movement is tied to who him. Who cares about the Occupy movement? Well, I'm just wondering. That just wasn't trying my to tell question. You. I just but, asked but you about the guns. But it's tied into the guns. Okay, so because there's, it's, who cares? There could be protesters from anywhere. Yeah, but these aren't protesters. These are professionally yeah, who paid cares? people Whatever. who come to be violent. Yeah, and, but what you should have said, not to relate it to the Occupy and polit politics, is but, that there could have been violent protesters in the city, and so there should be the, the no-gun boundary or whatever. Right. Now, how far out of the convention center is it? Is well, there's, it like, there's a total fenced-off area. And that'll be a gun-free zone inside okay, there. That makes sense. Because then I, because I had list, heard on, um, I think it was NPR that that whatever happened that that they were going to the federal government about it. Right. Well, that's you know. Because I didn't like the government. It's I was like just going curious. To the mafia. I didn't, well, because I didn't understand. You know, they. I had caught the tail end of it, so I right. missed. I missed the backstory part the, of, right, the, news part, of right. the article. Right. Well, okay, and then I got you. The, I just heard was, and uh, governor, the governor declined it, so now they're going to the federal government to right. overturn a law and a state law about what. And I'm like, what? What yeah. are these crazy people talking about? Well, so, anyway. Now. I, no, that makes sense. Now you can't. You can't turn an entire city. Into a, like you don't have they don't have the police force to take the to place of those because, people. Yeah, because the the city of Tampa Bay, like the downtown area where the convention center is, you can control. But right if you're there. if you're taking the entire city of Tampa Bay, you, you have to take all of the sprawl of Tampa Bay until you get to the dead the dead end of the city lines. Right, and you can't do that. And you can't do that. No, no, it's not impractical. that we have. I mean, we have laws here. You can people people can have concealed weapons in this state. That's right. You have to have off. a permit. Right. So. That's what it looks like. That okay. bald headed guy over there. Next to the yellow one. What? Right there. See, oh. the, see the four boys in yeah. the band? The yellow thing is a press pass, the right thing is a. Oh. Uh -huh. Okay. You have a. Okay, let me see. Great, you have a gun. We have. Me? I don't have a gun. Me? You have a permit for me. Why? Why would I have a gun? Because you're weird. Because I'm a conservative. <laughs> uh, excuse me, I almost got a gun. Good for you. You should have them. Guns, well, girls should be armed. Let's no, face no, no, it. No, no, no. Here's, here's what someone said to me. Ten seconds. That's great. So um, they said that because uh, the house, a couple of houses down, was robbed. We're off the air. And I, it's okay. And I wanted to, and I thought, well, let me get a gun because a gun would be cheaper than getting a right. security system. Right. And someone said to me, you know, if you have a gun in the house, 98% right. of the time that gun will be used against you in a robbery. Right. And I was just like, okay. It's now, from order. someone who doesn't really know guns, go do something good every day and volunteer at your local animal shelter. That's someone right. that doesn't really get know gun. guns, it was, um, I was like, that makes more sense. And get I a gun, go to a front, go to go I've got six cats. Go, like, go, go to my N cat would figure out how go to Go to the NRA. They'll teach you about guns. Get us out. We're late. Look at this. How can we be so bad? I didn't even tell them what the song is.
I've traveled now for 16 years and still I am alone It seems that I'm about the only friend I've ever known But I'm riding in the saddle with the sun And I'll be leaving here tomorrow when I'm done I don't know why I let them come and take my little girl I never left her lonely cause to me she was my world But the 16 years they've traveled now and gone and she's no longer in the spot I had my home They told me now the time had come She'd have to go to school And living in this home without her mom Just wasn't good She was five She said that she'd return but it took me seven years to finally learn That she had been rewarded with the loan Of parents in a rich New England home So I sold my farm and I headed out To bring her back to me but the road was hard and I lost most things I drank up quite a sea And then on the day when I finally did arrive I saw that she was happy So I lied and I said I was an uncle of her friends And then I headed back out down the road again So I've traveled now for 16 years and still I am alone It seems that I'm about the only friend I've ever known but I'm riding in the saddle with the sun And I'll be leaving here tomorrow when I'm gone I'm riding in the saddle with the sun And I'll be leaving here tomorrow when I'm done